Okay, well, thanks again for having us this week. Um, just a recap of the week and the uh, happenings from last week. So, first of all, it's looking pretty certain now that Arsenal and Chelsea will follow the Manchester clubs out of the Champions League after midweek performances. Chelsea were pretty disappointing against Napoli with some bizarre team selections from Andre Villas Boas. Are his days at Stamford Bridge numbered? I would say Villas Boas' days are numbered, um, but I don't think they're out of the Champions League yet. I think um, they have a good chance of doing what they need to do at home to Napoli, a chance, mm. because Napoli's defence isn't great. But he did um, make some poor uh, selections for his team. Mm. He's clearly fallen out with senior players like Frank Lampard and Ashley Cole and Michael Essien, which is very serious. I mean, these are top class, experienced players. And there's clearly a divide in the club. Uh, I don't think he's in charge of the club. Abramovich, the owner, is in charge. And I would say if they don't uh, beat Napoli and go through to the quarterfinal of the Champions League, he's gone. Mm -hmm. And even if he manages that, uh, the other target is top four finish in the Premier League, uh, which in their case, you know, is imperative uh, for financial reasons. If he fails to do that, he's gone. Mm -hmm. So I think his chances of survival are slim. Mm -hmm. And even if he survives, I think the Chelsea squad that was so powerful in recent years uh, will break up because some like Lampard are getting too old. Uh, Ashley Cole is clearly disenchanted. Uh, John Terry is becoming more injury prone. So I think Chelsea's days as a top four club and as a contender for the Premier League and the Champions League are coming to an end. And whether he were to stay, Villas Boas, or whether someone else comes in, it's going to require a major uh, surgical operation. An awful lot of money to be spent and an awful lot has already been spent and wasted like the 50 million on Torres uh, and the money spent on Luis who's proved to be a very bad buy bought at the same time and I suspect by the owner as well. So Chelsea is not a job you'd want, it's mission impossible as I said in the Star uh, last week nobody could do it and I don't think anyone except the desperate will want to do it or the unemployed and there's a lot of people who will be, will want the job, but won't be able to do it. So, uh, short term, he might survive if Chelsea qualify uh, for the next round of Champions League. Long term, no chance. And what does that say about the Premier League then? Yeah, I mean, the Premier League clubs have done poorly in Europe uh, by the standards we expect. I think it's important to remember that the big four, Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, um, are all to some extent in decline. Uh, Manchester United are hanging in there, mainly because of Wayne Rooney and his outstanding performances, particularly in big matches. But Chelsea are in uh, definite decline. Liverpool have declined. Uh, and um, Arsenal, that project is effectively over. So. I think it tells us that the Premier League is not as good as they believe it is, mm -hmm. but I think that's true of the Italian league as well. Uh, and there's a general decline around the world in the standard of the game. Mm -hmm. The exception is Spain, uh, where Barcelona have you know, one of the best teams we've ever seen, and where Mourinho is doing a very good job at Madrid. Uh, it, they can't quite match Barcelona, and I don't think they will match Barcelona. I think Barcelona will win. But apart from those two clubs, um, all the other major nations are struggling. And the Premier League is no exception to that. And then Ireland play Czech Republic next week, and it seems like Trapp has seen the error of his ways and called up James McLean. Surely he must give him game time against the Czechs now. Yes, I mean, it was, he made the wrong decision in not calling him up originally. But I think McLean uh, has you know, outstanding potential. Uh, he's only played maybe less than 15 Premier League games, mm -hmm. but he's been very impressive. And he has a good attitude, works hard, uh, and of course he has the skills and the power required. Trapattoni would want to be loyal to the players who got him to uh, the finals, but I think, and Liam Brady said on RTE on uh, Wednesday night, Liam thinks uh, he was right to call him up, and Liam thinks he'll go mm -hmm. to the European Championship finals, mm -hmm. uh, which Liam would have a good insight into Trapattoni's uh, thinking 
Uh, I think he should go. Uh, and he's an outstanding player for the future. He's a little bit raw around the edges at the moment, but if he goes to the championship, I think he's the kind of powerful winger that uh, the opposition won't want to face. So I think he'll go maybe instead of Hunt. Okay. And then to talk money then and get into business, what would be your three? What would be your biggest bankers for the weekend and week ahead? Well, I think um, there's a couple of individual bets. I think Spurs will beat Arsenal at the Emirates. Uh, on Sunday. Um, they're two to one or thereabouts to do it. I think it's a great bet. So that's a single bet. And I'm going to stick uh, with the three draws in doubles and trebles yeah. uh, that we haven't done too bad with. I think there are a lot of very close games potentially this week. One of them is a local derby, QPR and Fulham in London. I think there's a very good chance uh, that that will end up as a draw. I think the other match that could well be a draw is West Brom Sunderland. Mm -hmm. Martin O'Neill has Sunderland playing very well. Uh, they're away from home in this game. West Brom are doing okay um, and I think that's a good chance that that might also be a draw. And the third one is Wigan Aston Villa. Aston Villa always set their stall out to be defensive. Wigan are a useful enough side although they're bottom of the table. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had a good away win recently and their manager Martinez is very good. I think that's also likely to be a draw. So three doubles and a treble. Mm -hmm. QPR Fulham, uh, West Brom Sunderland, Wigan Aston Villa. Uh, Spurs to beat Arsenal I think is a very, very good bet. And the other bet I'd recommend is Manchester City are playing Blackburn at home. I would back Aguero, Aguero to score first in that match. He'd be maybe 4-1, to one, which I think is a very good bet as well. Brilliant. Listen, thanks again and we'll see you next week. Pleasure.